Hi, my name is Dr. Robert Michael. I'm a mechanical engineering professor at Gannon. So today we're in a, the manufacturing lab, which is relatively new. Uh, the lab was created about 10 years ago, but over the course of the last several years, we've added bits and pieces of uh, manufacturing equipment. So at Gannon University, um, we offer uh, several undergraduate degrees in engineering, including mechanical engineering, biomedical engineering, uh, industrial and robotic engineering, software engineering, cyber engineering, and uh, electrical engineering, and environmental engineering. You know, the field of manufacturing is extremely important, and in a lot of uh, engineering programs, it's often overlooked. So most engineering programs, including Gannon, you know, we start teaching students fundamentals of manufacturing at the freshman level. They take an engineering graphics course. It's in that course that they learn about uh, proper tolerancing and dimensioning drawings per ANSI standards. So that kind of lays the foundation for manufacturing. And then uh, later on in the curriculum, in, in, in the case of Gannon, uh, it's uh, fall semester, junior year, they take a manufacturing processes course. So that's a three credit lecture based course where students learn, basically it's just a shotgun approach on all the manufacturing processes. The machining processes, casting, welding, fabrication, but it's a, the key is it's a lecture-based course. So what makes Gannon unique is the fact that we're one of the few universities that I'm aware of that in a mechanical engineering program curriculum, we have a hands-on manufacturing lab, and that's what you see here. So it would be spring semester, junior year, students take this manufacturing lab. So we meet in this lab uh, three hours a week, and there's a lot of stuff that's done offline terms of the report writing and getting ready for lab. But they come to lab prepared, and they basically learn just the fundamentals of turning. So they'll, they'll actually machine parts on a lathe. So we hand them a drawing, and they'll machine a part on a lathe, then inspect the part to make sure all the dimensions are met. So they, this is done on a, on a manual lathe. And then uh, they machine this part on a manual mill. So again, we hand them a drawing, and they machine this part on a, on a manual mill. So there's all sorts of little projects like this where they learn a practical aspect of manufacturing. So down the road and even in their professional careers when they're designing you know, products and equipment, they'll, they'll have a sense for how it gets made. And so that allows them to design things more cost effectively, design things for manufacturing. As I mentioned earlier, the different engineering disciplines, so there's, there's a lot of overlap in terms of where the different engineers go, and a lot of same companies hire engineers from different disciplines, so a biomedical engineering, an electrical engineering, an industrial engineering, a mechanical engineering, all those different engineering disciplines could basically go work for the same company. But uh, in terms of industries that we try to focus on, uh, aerospace and industrial uh, industries, Transportation, now that transportation would include automotive, truck and bus, off-highway, transportation. So we focus on those industries. The electric power industry is really big. Electric vehicles is really big. The healthcare industry, healthcare industry has been a really important market for us uh, over the last several years, especially with the new biomedical engineering program. So with the healthcare industry, you know, we get uh, into some of the equipment manufacturers, some of the local companies would be like Steris or Cybersonics, um, military defense. So again, there's a lot of overlap um, where you start seeing maybe a little bit of difference in terms of industries. When you get into the electrical engineering and cyber engineering, you might see those folks go into the insurance industry or more into control, instrumentation, communications, equipment, and that sort of thing. Our students are, have success basically everywhere, both regionally and nationally. And I think uh, you know one of the things that's helpful for the students is a lot of the faculty come from industry. I mean, as I mentioned earlier, I had 10 years in industry before I went into academia. So we have all those contacts in industry. We, we kind of have a pulse of industry and a voice of industry. But you know, locally, we have a lot of students that uh, get jobs at the Wabtec, uh, Parker Lord. Um, industrial sales and machine and a lot of the local smaller manufacturing companies and then nationally geez I mean really all over Siemens uh, NASA Halliburton ExxonMobil some of the big oil companies 
So they have, a, you know, basically success everywhere. You know, if, uh, if you're interested in coming again, and I, I strongly encourage you to go to our website, gannon.edu, and then just uh, research the more than 100 academic programs, but um, uh, pay particular attention to the engineering programs. And so uh, a lot of the, um, the curriculum is, is online and more details and information about what engineers do and what's unique about our programs you can find online on our website.